Hello and welcome to this mini ab class. You are just going to need a mat or a towel or just a soft surface to lie down on, no other equipment needed. I'm gonna go through the exercises one at a time just to demonstrate. Then we're going to do each exercise for one minute just with a mini break in between. So at any time, just hit the pause button if you need to rest and then join back in when you're ready. All right. Exercise number one, we're lying onto our back for our dead bug. So we're gonna lift our legs up into tabletop one at a time arms go up towards the ceiling. Option to keep your head, neck and shoulders down. Otherwise you can exhale and curl your body up, keep that chin tucked in. And then we're reaching opposite arm, opposite leg away from each other, drawing that belly button down and just keeping the focus on the abdominals for today. The lower you, lower the leg, the harder it is. And same with the arm. We're thinking more about length rather than the depth of the leg. So just reaching your fingertips and your toes away from each other and resting back down. Our second exercise is going to be an oblique curl with a reach. So again, our legs can be in tabletop position as a harder option, or if you wanna keep your feet on the mat, go for it. We're gonna put our hands behind the back of our head. We exhale to curl up, we rotate, and we reach our opposite hand on the outside of our knee. Back to the center, rotate the other way, back to the center before lowering. So we ab curl up, oblique twist one way, twist the opposite way, and resting back down. Our next exercise is going to be a hold. So you can hold your dead bug position. You can lift the head, neck, and shoulders to make it more challenging. And then from here, you can extend your legs, you can extend the arms, all the arms can come by your side legs outstretched or in tabletop. So lots of options there, just pick something that is most suitable for you. We're gonna be reaching and lifting our shoulder blades up if we can, keeping our chin tucked in, drawing our belly button down and keeping our tailbone on the mat. Our next exercise is going to be a reverse ab curl. So from here, we're gonna lift our legs into tabletop one at a time. My hands are planted down onto the mat, collarbones are broad. We're going to lift our tailbone up into a crunch. As we lower the tailbone, we're going to extend both legs or one leg. Lift up, lower back down, extend one or both legs. If you're extending one, just gonna alternate legs. If we're extending both, the lower you lower the legs, the harder it's going to be. Um, the easier option, not that it's much easier, <laughs> is just keeping those legs extended up nice and high. Beautiful, all right. Next exercise is going to be in a plank position. Elbows for this one. Coming up onto your toes if you can. Draw that belly button in, pubic bone to belly button so you can tuck your tailbone under. And then we're just going to rock from side to side. Like you're tracing a rainbow shape with those hips. Up and over, up and over. Making that rainbow as big or as small as you like. You might just wanna stay nice and small. Otherwise, trying to make it as big as you possibly can. Just pivoting onto those toes. And then we're just gonna be holding our plank for the last one. You can drop onto your knees if you need to. But we're gonna challenge ourselves and stay up onto our toes if we can. Alrighty, a minute for each exercise as I said. Um, grab a drink if you need to and let's get into it. Time is on for those dead bugs. Throughout all these exercises, you can move as quick or as slowly as you like. We are after a little bit more precision and a little bit more control, especially when we're working our abdominals. We're using them as a strong stabilizing muscle. When you're doing your dead bars, we're making sure we just keep our natural arch in our lower back. Inhale to reach, exhale to draw everything back to the center. Reaching those limbs away from each other and drawing them in. This whole class is focused on our abdominals, so always aiming to keep the tension in the center of the body. Lift the head, neck and shoulders to make it a little bit more challenging. Time check, we've got three seconds. Last one, and resting down. 
Timer is on for those oblique curls, hands behind the back of the head, feet up or feet down. We curl up, we rotate and reach before resting back down. Good, if those legs are in tabletop, making sure those knees are stacked over the hips. Nicely done. Exhale to curl up, rotate. Good. Again, moving as quick or as slow as you like. This is only our second minute. <laughs> so make sure you pace yourself. Nice big rotation. Curl up through the center. Keep those shoulder blades lifted for the twist, okay? Excellent. Last one. Ready, let's get stuck into our hold. Again, picking that variation that suits you and that you feel like you can maintain for the minute, okay? If you've chosen to have those shoulder blades lifted, good on you. Let's lift them up a little bit higher. If you're finding it hard to keep lifted with your arms above your head, just reach them down by your sides and you might be able to find a little bit more lift. Drawing that belly button in. Legs can come to tabletop if you're too worried about those hip flexors tightening up as much as you can. You're know, trying to relax and draw that belly button in, keeping the tension in those abdominals, remember? Beautiful, let's keep holding. We're here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good stuff. Whew. Our next exercise is going to be those reverse crunches. So legs into tabletop position whenever you're ready. We curl up, we control back down, and we extend. Keep the head, neck and shoulders down for this one. Good, keep breathing. This one really targets those lower abdominals. Make sure you control that tailbone back down, supporting yourself with those hands onto the mat. Oh, only reaching those legs out to a height that keeps your lower back down and that is challenging for your lower abdominals. Beautiful, we are nearly there. Stay with me. Two more exercises to go after this. It's only two more minutes of work. Let's go for five, for four, three, two and one well done rolling over into your plank position for the next exercise Timer is on for that minute plank with those hip rocks creating that rainbow shape Those ankles can be together or take them as wide as you need just to widen that base of support. Pivoting on those toes, trace that rainbow, making it as big or as small as you like. Press that mat away nice and strong through the shoulders. Gaze is forward, nice long spine. 10 seconds to go. Good, don't give up on me. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, who's ready for that plank hold? Toes or knees, whatever you can maintain. Finish strong. Pubic bone to belly button. Keep that tailbone rounded under. Push that mat away. Draw in through the belly button. Nice deep breaths. 
Keep those knees lifted if you can. Good, think about tearing that mat into two pieces. Push the elbows and the toes away from each other. Focus on that center. Keep breathing. We're nearly done. So strong. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and one. Resting down. Well done. Quick little stretch. Let's come down onto our belly. Up into a little cobra stretch. Stretch out those abdominals. Now I want to twist from side to side. Little arch of the back, stretch of the belly. Up onto the hands if you have the range. Good, resting all the way back down. Kick it back into a child's pose if you need to. A few deep breaths there. Before coming up and we'll just round and drop into our cat cows. Whew, couple each way. Amazing job. Hopefully it doesn't hurt too much tomorrow to get up out of bed and to laugh. Um, if, it, if you enjoyed that, let me know and I will do a few more of these um, short, sharp challenger classes for you. Okay, see you next time.